This is my phone, a Google Pixel 2 XL. And this is my Google Pixel 2 XL playing Skyrim. This is all done through the magic of cloud gaming and not a third party cloud gaming subscription service, but a cloud gaming service I set up myself. Before we get into that, we need to talk a bit about cloud gaming and how it works. As far as traditional non-cloud gaming goes, the concept is pretty straightforward. Your computer runs the game, and a game is nothing more than a complex program. This means that it takes inputs and then spits out results. In this case, the inputs are the commands you give through your mouse and keyboard. The processing is done by the CPU and graphics card on board, and the results the computer spits out come in the form of visual graphics and sounds. The more powerful a computer you have, the more resource intensive of a game you can run, or the better graphical settings you can run the game at. That's traditional computer gaming. Cloud gaming works a little differently. In cloud gaming, the game and the majority of processing is done at a central computer elsewhere. Your keyboard and mouse inputs are sent to the central computer. The game is then streamed to you, kind of like a live video. This means you don't actually need a very powerful computer yourself, since the processing is done elsewhere. What you do need, however, is a really fast internet connection. You need to be able to send through keyboard and mouse commands via the internet, have the cloud computer process your request, and then stream the video feed back to your computer. Your internet needs to be fast enough to minimize the amount of latency you experience, otherwise you would start noticing a time delay between when you perform an action on your keyboard or a mouse and when the game actually responds. There are already a number of services providing cloud gaming, such as the GeForce Now service. So with this knowledge in mind, we can go about trying to make our own streaming service. In this case, I want to be able to play PC games on my mobile phone. We're going to need a few things to do this. First of all, you need a phone. I'm using my Google Pixel 2 XL. You will also need a host PC that will be running your cloud gaming server. While your phone doesn't need to be particularly powerful, your PC must be powerful enough to run the games you want to play. You will also need a keyboard that can work with your phone. While you can use a Bluetooth keyboard, I found that due to the additional latency of Bluetooth keyboards on top of the already present latency that comes inherently with cloud gaming, the delay between keystrokes and response was a bit too much. To make this work, I will be using an app called Chrome Remote Desktop and the accompanying Google Chrome plugin. This allows you to stream and control your desktop from your phone via the internet. I used this app in a previous video where I was able to create a tablet laptop hybrid powered by a mobile phone that streamed to my desktop. I'll put a link in if you're interested. The app does have a few issues since it is designed more for productivity than gaming and I'll get to them later in the video. So opening up the app. You can see that I have my desktop mirrored on my phone and I can control my desktop from the phone. Things like web browsing and word processing work perfectly fine like this. So let's try open Steam and play some games. Starting with Skyrim. For some reason, these games will only work in windowed mode, so be sure to check that before starting up. We get through the loading screen without any issues and can get into the game itself. And as you can see, it all seems to be running, perhaps with a bit of stutter, but not too bad.
You don't really start to notice a problem until you get past the character creation section and realize you can't move. It took me a while to figure out, but for some reason, the letter keys on the keyboard will not register. Instead, you must use non-letter keys to control your player. So I made the arrow keys control movement and the surrounding keys other functions. Now, this is definitely not a very pleasant gaming experience. Even with a larger phone like mine, the screen is still much too small and that's further worsened by the fact that your screen is also your touchpad and your finger is constantly getting in the way. I tried some other first person games and the experience was quite similar to this. It's certainly playable, but I would never try to finish a game like this. Where this sort of setup shines is in real-time strategy games. The top-down view and mouse-heavy control scheme mean that playing real-time strategy games on a mobile phone is actually a viable option. I wonder if game publishers realize this. I mean, I think the Command & Conquer fanbase would really appreciate a mobile Command & Conquer Generals game. Oh, never mind. Though, speaking of Command & Conquer Generals, it actually works pretty well in this setup. You need to assign a few functions to the keyboard and it is a little clunky, but definitely enjoyable. While the first person games are hard to control, even at the best of times, real time strategy games seem to really shine and the latency associated with dips in your internet connection don't hurt the experience too much. So, what did we learn today? Well, cloud gaming is great if you have fast internet and a not so fast computer, Skyrim will run on a phone if you try hard enough, and Command & Conquer Mobile probably would have been better received if it was literally just a port of generals. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if finding quirky ways to use everyday electronics seems like something you're interested in, be sure to check out the rest of my channel and consider subscribing. I'll see you all in the next video. Any more projects? What's the mission, sir?